Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Judith Patterson. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Texas, and today we're going to make a fun card using Cheerful Basket Stamps, the fun Rays of Light stamp. I'm really excited about using this one today, and my sentiment is coming from Good Feelings. Of course, I'm using the Sending Sunshine and Good Feelings Your Way. Um, so I'm going to be using a variety of colors and tools, including the Stamparatus and the blending brushes. But before we get to that, I um, wanted to let you know about a promotion that Stampin' Up! has right now, um, and that is the starter kit. So our starter kit with Stampin' Up! is always $99. It is $125 worth of stamping stuff. Um, but the coolest part about it is you get to pick what's in your kit. So, um, it's not already picked things for you. So, you're not going to have to worry about getting double of anything. So, right now though, through October, through the rest of October, if you join my team, you will get to pick $155 worth of product for only $99. You also get, as an added bonus, a retired paper pumpkin kit. So, if you wanted to try that out, um, that would be fun. And um, shipping, I want to say shipping is free. I need to double check that. I'll double check that and let you know next time. Um, or I'll add it. I'll add it with a text and let you know in a minute. Okay, so it's a really great time to get into Stampin' Up! Um, if you have a long wish list, this is the perfect time to join. And you don't have to sell. You can be a... Um, hobby demonstrator, if you will. You can um, be a happy shopper. There's so many terms for someone that just wants to sign up to get the great discounts and benefits and community and it's just a lot of fun being a demonstrator. There's um, always something going on. So if you would like to join my team then you can go to my website and then just click join now and I would love to to talk to you about it if you have any questions. Um, I do have a very, very small team right now. I'm just starting to grow my team. So that would give me more time to have one-on-one -on -one time with you if you have any questions or, um, or whatever. Anyway, that's enough. I'm going to stop talking now and let's make a card. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is stamp the cat from Cheerful Basket, and I'm going to use um, pumpkin pie ink to stamp this cat because I want an orange cat. I have two orange cats in my house. Um, one is fluffy with a big fluffy tail, and one is a bobtail. And um, he's a shorter haired cat and full of personality. They both are, but especially our bobtail. He um, he is something else, let me tell you. He sits for treats faster than my chihuahua does. Let's just say that. Okay, I'm going to color his ear with a lot flirty flamingo. Just a little inside of his ear with a lot flirty flamingo stamp and blend before I color the rest of him. And I'm going to color right over that with light um, the pumpkin pie. So the first time I was coloring this cat, I kept, and I just did it again, for some reason I keep coloring over the cat's eyes. I don't know why I do that. At least this time I just did a very little bit. I was even kind of trying to watch and pay attention and make sure I didn't do it this time. So I'm just coloring him really quickly. I'm not going to get real particular. But there is our cat, all nice and colored. And then I'm going to get just a very small scrap of basic white that'll do and my memento ink and the butterfly stamp from the same set I'm just going to stamp the butterfly 
And then I'm going to color it with Orchid Oasis Stampin' Blends. So I'm going to use the darker blend for the center. Well, not the center, but the, the detailed pieces, places in the butterfly image. And then I'm using the lighter one to just kind of go over everything. I think I'm going to go over those dark places one more time to make them stand out just a little bit more. Of course, you can have whatever color cat and whatever color butterfly you like. I don't think it's going to mess anything up. So the next thing I'm going to do is grab my Stamparatus, a 4 inch by 5 and a quarter inch piece of basic white cardstock. I'm just going to put that about there. And then I'm going to use that Ray of Sunshine stamp. This is a big stamp. Whenever I have stamps this big, I always like to use my Stamparatus. I think that's pretty straight. Just need to make sure that stays straight. I'm not using my magnets to hold this down because I am going to be stamping the entire um, piece of paper there. Okay, so I'm starting with my blending brushes. I'm going to use Daffodil Delight first. And I'm just going to ink up the center of this sunburst with my Daffodil Delight. Go over it a few times, make sure it's nice and inked up. Then I'm going to grab that pumpkin pie. And I'm using different blending brushes. Um, I have one for oranges, one for yellows, one for purples, and so forth. So I'm just going to keep using different ones. That way I don't have to really clean up. I can just keep going. Now I'm going to use Melon Mambo next. And this will get me all the way to the edge here. but not all the way to the edge, all the way around. So I'm just making kind of a big circle. Okay, and then the final color I'll be using is the Rich Razzleberry. I'm just kind of swirling that on. It's okay if I don't get as much color as I want the first time I stamp because I can always go back and add more ink because I'm using um, because I'm using my Stamparatus. Okay, and with that thought in mind that I might want to go ahead and use it again, I'm going to get my Stampin' Seal. Make sure it's not Stampin' Seal Plus. I just want Stampin' Seal. Ah, get it on my finger. I'm just going to put a little bit there and a little bit there. I'm going to use my finger to kind of get that sticky out a little bit. 
on both of these. Okay, so now I'm going to put that back down where it was. Make sure it's stuck on there. And then I'm just going to press this down on top. Okay, so I've missed a few places. So I'm just going to repeat that process again. I'm starting with the yellow in the middle. The Daffodil Delight. And then I'm going to use the Pumpkin Pie next. Then the Melon Mambo. And then finally, I'm going to use the Rich Razzleberry. Lost my blending brush for a second there. Okay, so this time I'm just going to go over a couple places that look like it needs a little bit of help. So this here. And then I think I'm going to add a little bit of pumpkin pie to this area here. Now we're talking. That looks good. Okay, so you can stop there. Let me move it to where there's not such a weird glare on it. There we go. So you can stop there if you want. I am going to go ahead and add some Daffodil Delight to that center. And then just go back. I'm not re-inking any of my brushes. I'm just going back over everything. Um, with the ink that's already on them and just kind of blending everything out. There we go. And then I'm going to take this plate off. I'm going to add the other plate. And then I'm going to use my Sending Sunshine and Good Feelings Your Way stamp. And I want this stamped towards the left of the card. Not that far left, though. Let's see. So my cat is going to go down here. So I just want to make sure I have plenty of room for it. And I think, I think that's good. 
So I'm going to use this plate to pick that stamp up. And then I'm going to use my Memento ink again. And again, I'm not worried about getting it perfectly on there the first time. I may have to go over it two or three times to get the ink as dark as I want it. Oh yeah, definitely at least one more time. So I'm just going to re-ink that again. Then I think I'm going to do that one more time because I want it nice and dark. Okay, I love the way that looks. What do you think? Okay, so all that's left now is to use the die cuts, the dies, to cut out our cat and butterfly and then assemble the card so let me grab the mini stamp cut and emboss machine there we go i have my plate one plate two i'm gonna put the cat on get the die that goes with it going to use the butterfly die to cut out the butterfly. And remember when using the stamp cut and emboss machine that you don't want to line your ends up perfectly with this mini machine. With my large machine I do, but with the smaller one I like to um, stagger the ends of the plates whenever I put them in. It just helps to start it a little bit easier. Okay, so for my card base I'm using the Orchid Oasis cardstock, and I went ahead and cut this one four and a quarter inches wide by 11 inches long, and then I scored it at five and a half inches. So I'm just going to use my liquid glue and put this right on the card. So you just wanna center that up there as straight as you can and then I'm going to use my Stampin Dimensionals I'm going to use a combination of mini and the regular size um, Stampin Dimensionals to attach the cat and then I'm going to use the mini to also stamp or attach the butterfly so I'm going to use my paper snips and cut this one in half and put it on the tail and again, if you've watched my videos before, you know I'm kind of excessive when it comes to Stampin' Dimensionals. But that's okay. I like things to really be stuck on there. Okay, so that is going to go right over here. I kind of want it overlapping that edge. And then this butterfly, I'm going to add two of these mini dimensionals to it. Oops, that one looks like it might be poking off the side there. Perfect. And I want the butterfly to go right above here. And you could stop there if you want, but who wants to stop there? Not me. I want to add a little bit of bling to my card. So 
So I have these iridescent rhinestone jewels. Let's see if you can see all the colors that are in these. And depending on what background you have, I have a little scrap of gorgeous grape. Let's see if that changes it some. Anyway, these, it's not doing it justice on the camera from what I can tell. But these are a lot of fun and really pretty and add a fun sparkle to your card. So I'm just going to add one of these really large ones down here. I'm going to add a smaller one up here. And then there's, so there's three sizes of these. So then the middle size I'm adding there. And then I'm going to add another middle one up about here. And then another small one. I'm going to put it up here. So there is the card that we're making today. So for the inside, I'm going to add, I'm not going to do it on camera, but I'm going to go ahead and add a four inch by five and a quarter piece of basic white cardstock to the inside. And then most likely what I'm going to do is add a cat and then put a butterfly flying to land on its nose. I just think that'll be fun. So, um, I will do that and then I'll post it on my blog if you want to see the inside of this card. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I hope you enjoyed this card. So the cheerful basket, I've been that's my stamp of the week. So I've been using it all week. There's a lot of ideas or a few ideas anyway over on my blog if you want to see more. So I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Thanks again for watching my video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Um, and if you really liked it and haven't already, hit that subscribe button and you can see more videos. Thanks again. Y'all have a great weekend. Happy stamping.